Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Burdick, the Reading Coach. I want to share another selection with you today. I'm going to read a book titled City Dog and Country Frog by Mo Willems. Pictures are by John Muth. But before we read, I want to talk about a strategy of questioning. So before you read, I want you to think about some questions that you might have about the actual text. We'll talk about fiction today. So I might think, what do I want to learn? What do I want to learn from City Dog, Country Frog? What does this title tell me? What do I already know about dogs and frogs? And I wonder, what will this book be about? Now, as we read, I want you to think about the question. I wonder. So any time that you, any time that you wonder about something in the story, what are you curious about as I read? How is something happening in the story? Or how is a character feeling? Does this even make sense? And then as we read, while you're in the middle of reading, think, I wonder what I've learned so far. And then as you're moving along through a story or through that fiction book, think to yourself, I wonder what would happen next or I wonder what will happen next. Then after you read, I want us to think about some other kinds of questions. Like, why did the author write this text or whatever text that you're reading? Why is that information even important? Did the author have a message to tell the readers? And then I wonder as I read any text, are there new words that I've learned? Maybe I can do some more research with those words. What was the main idea of my text? And I wonder if, if I learned something. So every once in a while, as I read today, City Dog, Country Frog, I want to ask a few questions. And this is just what I would be thinking if I were just reading the book all by myself. But today, you're with me. I want you to learn to do those same things as you read. Question in order to get a better understanding of what you've read. All right, let's get started with City Dog, Country Frog. Again, this is by Mo Willems and the illustrations are by John Muth. City Dog, Country Frog. Spring. Hmm. I wonder why the author noted springtime. City Dog didn't stop on that first day in the country. He ran as far and as fast as he could. And all without a leash. So in my head, I think, I wonder where he's going. City Dog spotted something he had never seen sitting on a rock. It was Country Frog. What are you doing? asked City Dog. Waiting for a friend, replied Country Frog with a smile. But you'll do. City Dog and Country Frog played together. City Dog was new to the country, so the Country Frog taught him Country Frog Games. I wonder what kind of games are Country Frog Games. Country Frog's games involved jumping, splashing, and croaking. That was spring. Summer. Oh, I see a pattern here from our author. City Dog didn't stop to admire the green, green grass. He ran straight for Country Frog's rock. I'm going to do you a favor, said City Dog when he found Country Frog. I am going to teach you City Dog games. Oh, I wonder what City Dog games are. City Dog's games involved sniffing and fetching and barking. City Dog and Country Frog played until Country Frog was too tired to sniff 
and fetch and bark anymore. That was summer. Fall. City Dog didn't stop to sniff the falling leaves. He ran straight for Country Frog's Rock. What shall we play today? asked City Dog. Dog or frog games? Country Frog took a deep breath. I am a tired frog, replied Country Frog. Maybe we can play remembering games. City Dog and Country Frog sat together on the rock. They remembered their spring jumping and splashing and croaking. They remembered their summer of sniffing and fetching and barking. That was fall. I wonder what will happen next in our story. Winter. City Dog didn't stop to eat the snow. He ran straight for Country Frog's Rock. City Dog looked for Country Frog. Country Frog was not there. I wonder how City Dog is feeling right now. That was winter. Spring again. Country Chipmunk spotted something she had never seen sitting on a rock, on a rock. I wonder what that is. I think that might be our friend City Dog. It was City Dog. What are you doing? asked Country Chipmunk. Waiting for a friend, replied City Dog, sadly. Then he smiled, a froggy smile, and he said, But you'll do. And that was spring again. The end. Now, we asked a few questions as we read through our selection today. But after reading, then I would ask myself, I wonder why the author wrote this text. And I wonder if there was a lesson to be learned, maybe one about friendship. Now, remember, boys and girls, if you read or listen to a selection, it can be one of the ones that you find on Paget Coach's Corner on YouTube. I want you to have an adult take a picture of maybe you writing down some questions and then answering them for the text that you read. All right, boys and girls, thank you for letting me come in and share another one of my favorite texts. I will see you again. This is Mrs. Burdick out.